pastel hair trend has hit Hollywood. Now you'll all remember we thought Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj were really strange when they started putting bright colors in their hair, but it looks like the rest of Hollywood have adopted this trend. Rubybox.co.za's Margot Canapa is joining me in studio for this edition of Instagram and to let you know how you can get this hot trend and keep it looking colorful. Hello. Hello, Jin. Well, all the celebrities have these bright hues in their hair. And I, I can't actually believe that everyone has adopted it. No, it's so awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. Kelly Osbourne has, is known now for that lavender, that beautiful right, lavender shade. Here. Exactly. I mean, she's it's, just it's gorgeous. It. Yeah. And very recently, Nicole Richie also went a similar shade, mm -hmm. and now she's gone blue. It's like a powder blue. It's beautiful. And Lance Bass has even gone blue. Remember him from NSYNC? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have Kelly Osbourne here and some other very popular um, celebrities who have gone... Kylie Jenner, it really is playing Jenner. between the purples and the blues. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful hues at the moment. The most important thing, if you are considering either colouring your hair or being brave and going with a bright pastel colour, is to make friends with your hairdresser. Yes, because you don't <laughs> want to do that at home. This is definitely something you should not be doing at home, exactly. <laughs> Also to bear in mind is the current color of your hair mm -hmm. and the condition. So if you're wanting to go for a bright hue, the lighter your hair, the better the color and the more rich it will become. Right. So you may have to transition with that color beforehand into a lighter blonde or you know, a lighter shade. So someone like Kylie Jenner would have gone lighter. She would have done then... ombre beforehand, so she mm -hmm. would have probably had blonde and then they would put the color on. Okay. Um, and also condition, the condition of your hair. If it's dry and damaged, mm -hmm. your color's really not going to do anything to help that condition. Mm. So once you have made friends with your stylist and you've got this beautiful color, very important home care, this is high maintenance hair. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to rock it, it's, it's got to look good. So all the high maintenance people <laughs> out there are going to go in get colors in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and, it's, and that's awesome, but mm. you just have to follow up with home okay. care. So a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner, very important. I love this reference of Sweden. Mm -hmm. This really is not going to strip the color from your hair. Um, and this fa fabulous conditioner to follow up with. Try not, it's going to sound strange, but wash your hair as often as you would usually. Really, that color deposit will come out quicker the more you wash your hair. So yeah, if you can avoid... So try to do it... One, you know, not every day. I would avoid washing your hair every okay. day, every other day if you can, and even maybe three times a week. Okay, great. Then follow up with a leave-in conditioner. I'm a big fan of Dove's. It smells amazing. Now, what does a leave-in conditioner do? S smell this. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even planned. <laughs> um, a leave-in conditioner is just, if a mask is too much, a mask is fantastic. It really mm -hmm. gives you those nutrients your hair needs. But if you don't have time, use a leave-in conditioner because you're just going to quickly spritz and it's going to stay and you don't have to rinse it out. Oh, so it's awesome. a more lightweight version of a mask. But How often should you use it? Every time you wash your hair. Nice. Fabulous. Color saver. Then, if you're heat styling, that's again going to wreak havoc with your hair and your condition and color. So please, use something like the gold standard, <laughs> GHD, heat, heat protector. Mm -hmm. um, just to watch art and that'll help save your color.